Welcome to the Auslink Mobile Pro demonstration for picking a sales order with NetSuite. Today we're going to use an iOS enabled scanner device to pick a sales order. Here we're looking at a sales order in NetSuite. You'll notice that this order is currently pending picking. If we transition over to the mobile device with Auslink Mobile Pro, I can select Pick Order. And from this screen, I can either type in or scan in the sales order number, or click this search button, and Auslink will show me a list of available orders to pick. I'll select order 609 that we're looking at in NetSuite. Auslink will then show me a list of available items to be picked and create a walking path to let me know where to go. So here, the first item that I'm being directed towards is item 5001. Once I get to bin A01, I can either scan this item or I can use my finger and select the item. Now I can either scan the quantity and bin number to validate that I'm picking the right item. Alternatively, I can enter the quantity and the bin number, again, through input on the keyboard or by scanning and pick that item. Now the gun is going to move me on to the next item in my walking route. Auslink will validate each action that I perform. If I happen to make a mistake, in this case I scanned a quantity greater than what was being asked for on the sales order. So I'll see this warning note to let me know that I've got an invalid quantity. Now I can go back, correct that quantity, and pick the rest of that item. Now when I select Save, Auslink will update NetSuite real time. Let's go back and take a look at that order inside of NetSuite. Here I'm going to refresh the browser and we'll see the results of that sales order pick that I just performed on my iOS enabled device. If I want to drill in and see more detail, I can do that through standard NetSuite functionality on this history tab. And this item fulfillment will show me all the details of the items, quantities, and bin locations that I picked the item from. For more information, please visit ozdevelopment.com.